Hey guys, I'm Molly from All Healthcare Careers. I'm going to be performing step-by-step -step CNA skills to ensure your success on the CNA clinical skills portion of the exam. Before we get started, I'd like to show you this CNA practice kit that we put together for you to practice at home with family and friends. It will be linked down in the description along with a video breaking down exactly what's inside the kit. Let's get started. Before entering, I'm going to perform hand hygiene. Two pumps of hand sanitizer. I'm going to knock on the patient's door to let him know that I am coming in. Good morning, Mrs. Smith. I'm Molly. I'm going to be your CNA today. How are you doing? Good. Good. I hear you need assistance with your bedpan. Is that all right if I help you? Yes. Wonderful. I'm going to close your privacy curtain and collect my things. For this skill today, I'm going to need a roll of toilet paper, hand sanitizer for the patient, a warm washcloth for the patient, a barrier or a chucks pad, a bedpan, and then a privacy blanket. Before getting started, I'm going to place the privacy blanket over the patient. And then I'm going to take the patient's blanket underneath and I'm going to pull it down a little bit so that none of the bedding gets soiled. Next I'm going to take my barrier and you want this to be placed underneath the patient's um, upper hips and bottom to help prevent any type of soiling onto the sheets. I'm going to roll the chucks pads towards me. And then I'm going to ask the patient, depending on the patient, if they can raise their hips or if they're unable to do that, have them roll over to the side. I'm going to have Mrs. Smith roll over to her left side. Okay, Mrs. Smith, if you could go ahead and slowly roll to the left and place your arms on the railing. Perfect. And then I'm going to take my chucks and I'm going to tuck it underneath. And then I'm going to take my bedpan. I'm going to have the back side right here away from the patient and I'm going to place this underneath. And then I'm going to have, holding onto it, Mrs. Smith, give me her hand and I'm gonna have her roll back over, nice and slow, perfect. Does that feel okay, Mrs. Smith? Yeah. Okay. And if the patient is able to adjust the bedpan, you can ask them to do so. Then I'm going to walk over to the other side to unroll the rest of the barrier. Okay. And then I'm going to lift the head of the bed for the patient so that the patient is comfortable. Mrs. Smith, do you feel comfortable? Mm -hmm. Is there anything else I can get you right now? No, thank you. Okay. When you are done, just hit the call light. I'm going to leave with you some toilet paper right here. Then I'm going to wait outside for when Mrs. Smith is ready for me to come back in. Mrs. Smith, I see that you hit your call light. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I'm going to, I've already performed hand hygiene. Next, I'm going to place my gloves on. And before collecting the barrier and the bedpan, I'm going to offer Mrs. Smith some hand sanitizer and a warm washcloth for hand hygiene. Mrs. Smith, I'm going to place this on your bedside and you may use this once I've taken the bedpan and the barrier out. Mrs. Smith, can you roll back over to the side, holding the railing nice and slow? Then I'm going to collect the barrier along with the bedpan, nice and slowly, having Mrs. Smith 
roll back over. Perfect. Then I'm going to take the barrier and I'm going to toss it into the trash. I'm going to take the bedpan and I'm going to empty it into the toilet. And depending on how soiled the bedpan is will depend on if you would like to reuse it or not. If you have a very soiled bedpan and you feel it's best if you just tossed it and then got a new one for sanitary reasons, that's what you should do. Then after rinsing out the bedpan, I'm going to wipe it with a paper towel. I'm going to take another paper towel, placing it under, and then placing it next to the patient's bedside in their dresser. I'm going to remove my gloves. Perform hand hygiene. Making sure to wash my hands thoroughly. Then I'm going to take Mrs. Smith's blanket, placing it over her again, and taking the privacy blanket. And rolling it up and tossing it into dirty linens. In the event that your patient has soiled their bedding, you will need to change their bedding completely and also be aware of the privacy blanket. If you need to wear gloves to remove the privacy blanket because it has been soiled, then do so. Mrs. Smith, what else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. Okay, thank you and have a good day. Exiting the room, hand sanitizing two pumps always. We hope you found this video helpful. For additional resources, Click the playlist for more CNA skills videos or try our three free day trial that contains over a thousand practice questions to ensure your success on the first attempt.